As the 27th video, we will do about the 10th lesson in grade 9 syllabus, Electrolysis. This is the first video of the second part of the science textbook. You didn't subscribe our channel yet, subscribe us now to get more videos like this. First, we will discuss about the electric conductor. The materials which allow to pass electricity is called the electric conductor. Solid, liquid and gas are the mediums that need to pass electricity. You can see the conductors and insulators, the materials which doesn't allow to pass electricity by following pictures. After that, we will discuss about the electrolysis. The process that liquids which allow to pass electricity called as electrolysis. The liquid related to electricity passing can divide into two groups. Electrolyte and non-electrolyte. Then we will move to the first experiment regarding this lesson. You will need a beaker, two carbon dots, an emitter, two dry cells, connecting wires, kerosene, salt solution, acidified water, copper sulfate solution, and distilled water. First, you want to set up the apparatus as shown in the figure and change the liquid for solution that won't pass electricity. You can observe the emitted reflections by the solution like salt, copper sulfate and acidified water. You cannot observe the deflection in solutions like kerosene and distilled water. Then we show you the conclusion of the above experiment. The liquid source solutions that pass electricity called electrolytes don't pass electricity called non-electrolyte. Second experiment. Set the apparatus as the picture. You can observe reddish brown substance at the negative electrode liberation of gas bubble from positive electrode and gradual decreasement of blue color. Conclusion of the experiment Copper sulfate undergoing the chemical change has turned into copper, a simpler substance. The chemical chain effected by passing an electric current to an electrolyte called as electrolysis. Third experiment. First, you should make two holes of a plastic container. Then, pass two carbon rods and seal the holes with wax. After that, add acidulated water. You can see in this picture how to arrange setup. In this experiment, you can observe evolving of air bubbles from both positive and negative terminals, reduction of acidulated water in both test tubes, rate of decreasing acidulated water in anode is higher than cathode, and you can observe the ammeter deflection. These are the two gases identified in test in testing. The oxygen gas identified by 
the flowing spring will reignite when placing flowing spring into the gas collected in test tube. The hydrogen gas identified by burning with pop sound when placing lighter spring into the test tube. Applications of electrolysis Extracting metals Manufacturing caustic soda Electroplating Now we consider about how we do electroplating You need copper sulfate solution Clean copper plate, iron nail, beaker, connectors, and 1.5 volt dry cell. You want to set up apparatus as this figure. You can observe copper plate gradually dissolves and copper is deposited on iron nail. You can conclude that. The plating of a certain metal is another surface using electricity called electroplating. Characteristics of electroplating The coating should be shiny, firmly adhere to the surface subjected to plating. It is with a Confirm thickness. Application of electroplating. Protecting from rusting and corrosion. Have attractive color, giving a rich look with plating for on jewelry. You can answer these questions in comment section. What is electrolysis? Mention three electrolytes. Mention the application of electrolysis. What are the characteristics of electroplating? Mention the application of electroplating. Thank you for watching our video. Goodbye all!